I used to play a certain game. I used to play a certain game a lot. Probably my most played game besides WoW. And we're going to watch a video all about the rise and fall of that game. That game, my friends, is Halo. Yes, Halo. My first true love uh, in gaming, honestly, I would say. I, I spent countless hours playing Halo online with my friends on Xbox Live back when you had to buy the separate antenna for your Xbox and everything. I mean, uh, it was endless fun. We, we used to play zombies back when you actually had to... It was a game mode that the players created, and you had to convert yourself, switch yourself to, to the zombie team when you died. I mean, I have plenty of great memories on Halo. And uh, it's sad, the current state of it, honestly. I tried Halo Infinite, I didn't like it that much. I uh, played it for maybe a month, just like most people did, and then stopped. But this video is all about it. Halo in a nutshell. We kind of might have jumped in ahead of time without really thinking. What do I need to know to play this game? It's the beginning of a second trilogy uh, in the Halo universe. Basically, there's this dieback. Uh, he created this thing called the Closer, which turns. He turned it against humanity, and but then he it screwed up humanity. So then. I don't. I don't know any of this old. This new Halo lore. We spent 20 minutes. 20 minutes of searching. How can you tarnish this legacy? It was supposed to be a love letter to the fans. Yeah. It's like they just grabbed all these features, all the duty, and just jammed. Let's be honest, there was one way to make a Halo game today that could have worked. Halo Infinite should have had a Battle Royale. It, whether or not you like Battle Royales or not, it's the only way to really survive as a first-person shooter in today's world. If you had a Halo BR, I guarantee you it would have been more successful than uh, the current version that Halo Infinite is today. The means of Halo. Let's criticize Halo Infinite. There's been missed calls, mismanagement for four games in the franchise now. 343 three yeah. didn't earn this. The correct answer to the... Unfortunately, Bungie should have kept Halo. 343 three has really fucked it up. Question, who is the worst game developer is 343 three Industries. A game from 2007 had more content than Halo Infinite. Jeez. Like, there's no way they're gonna sell us the iconic red color, the classic red color, twice! And, um, you know, we let them down. Damn. Damn. Sad. You see, I've been a huge Halo fan since the very first game. I literally skipped out on my job for the day just to play Halo 3. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure I wasn't the only one. Which is why I want to talk about Halo. I did the whole wait outside a GameStop for Halo 3. Man. I believe is stopping 343 Industries from making- Also, um, I was a big time simp for Cortana. I mean, you're talking about a 16 year old Sam. Uh, let's just say those, uh, those digital bits had curves in all the right places. It the juggernaut it deserves to be. And there's three major problems with 343. The vision, the gameplay, and the community. Does anybody know that your friend is a little girl and you- I know! Oh, these lobbies, man. The shit that was said in these lobbies is the kind of stuff that could put you in jail. <laughs> in today's world. <laughs> No, no not that community. That's... You weirdos are one of the main reasons Halo was so special. Uh, but before we touch on that, we have to so start good. the game's vision. A game's vision is the single most important piece of the puzzle. Without a singular focused vision, Finish the, the game fight. may skew into different directions, different audiences, and become fragmented. Uh, the deep dive. <laughs> I wonder if that sounds familiar. So I repeat, the most important part of a video game is the vision and its consistency. Bungie's vision for Halo has consistently been a single player sci-fi space yeah. opera mixed with a multiplayer for you and your buddies to enjoy any way that you choose. Oh, I know what the ladies like. 343's vision for Halo has consistently been different with every single release. Yeah, well, that's thing to true. Make really clear. None of us inside of 343 look at this roadmap and are happy with it. Halo 4 was a continuation of Halo 3's story with a deeper science fiction take and more personal character arcs. She said that to me once. 
featuring gameplay that was undoubtedly stolen from Call of Duty. Yeah. So Halo 4's loadout system uh, frequently and sort of appropriately gets compared uh, to other FPS games, including Call of Duty. Now, already it's from an one, unnecessary Halo's changes. vision had been breached from a winning formula to a new untested formula. <laughs> it's about uh, sort of useful default role-based loadouts that suit your style of play. But that's not technically a bad thing so long as the vision is maintained and iterated on. Let's say you take over a beautiful pizza store and I'm choosing pizza because- Best, one of the coolest, see an addition that they made. I, uh, you guys remember when they added dual wielding? You know, you can have two guns, that was cool. That's an addition that I, I, you know, I liked at the time. Remember, you go dual wheel two SMGs, or you go two needlers, or something, or a needler and a, uh, an SMG. I mean, you could battle roy. You could have dual wheel battle rifle, but the dual wielding was a fun little addition to the game back then. Then they started to go way too far into yeah. This is just Call of Duty reskin for space, essentially. Because your boy loves pizza more than he loves Power ups, himself. Power ups, jumps, you know, all kinds healthy, of weird abilities and shit. I love pizza. Now, let's say that you sell your version of the pizza, but the customer says, hey man, this is worse. That's actually a good thing because you can improve on the formula by yeah, using you your listen. previous pizzas as a baseline and then just compare against that. Oh. Halo 2 got the dual wielding, yeah. You can try again and again totally and tweak so. until you get it just right. You got the best pizza in the game, but it becomes basically impossible to measure satisfaction if you change your pizza store into a burger store after backlash from your pizza. Now all of That's the criticism true. you received is pretty much useless and you have to start again because you have no baseline. What's you can't up, baby really compare a burger to a pizza. So what did 343 do on their next release? Well, in Halo 5, they... This, this just went insane. The formula again. Yeah. They got rid of the Call of Duty stuff and they went back to arena multiplayer with new Power Ranger abilities. Yeah, the, the power abilities and shit just became too much. That's that's when I feel like a lot of us fell off. All the all the dashes and dips and the and you know double jump dick slams and all that stuff. I don't know. It became too much. I just wanted a simple Halo. Like I said, on highly and I, when I say BR, you know, earlier in the video, I said, yeah, I'd like a BR. Um, I'd still take like Slayer and everything as, as side content. You could have a BR and still have all the other match modes. That would be fine. Uh, I, I'd still want my classic Halo feels as well. But uh, what they gave us right now was just like some kind of weird uh, ability and entrenched arena shit. I don't know. Competitive play instead of social games. Oh my gosh. They removed Big Team Battle for a pay to win. Oh, Big Team Battle was so good back in the day, man. It was just a vehicle extravaganza and people just using rocket launchers everywhere, man. Big Team Battle was the shit. Grind fest. Wait, won't wreck packs with special weapons break the exquisitely refined balance of arena multiplayer? Secure your noise hole, soldier. Grown ups are talking. Cut 90% of their features and modes at launch and try to replace Chief with a new character no one liked. But now I must save us. Okay, so already after <laughs> one game, 343 has turned yeah. what started as a pizza, but was really a hamburger, into something new, like a hot dog. Whoa. But again, Look, guys, it's okay if the hot dog is iterated on and tweaked. So, next Halo game, Halo Infinite, what do they do? I was so excited for this, man. <laughs> Return okay, of the guys, pizza, yeah. You're basically. pitching us a pizza again. That's, that's great. Your boy loves pizza. We've already established that. But now you have fans who love burgers. Even these beasts recognize what you were oblivious to. And hot dogs. And I'm guessing they're a little confused. The extre I'm not gonna extremeness to man, of Halo 5. But it gets better because then the game actually releases and we find out that it's not even a pizza that we were promised. It's a hot pizza burger. Halo Infinite Multiplayer is free to play, which is new to the franchise. No, God, please, no. They put the chief back in focus. Yeah. When they said free to play, I knew that there was going to be tons of, you know, buy skins and buy this shit and buy that shit. I kind of knew we were screwed. I kind of knew it. If you put a BR and you put skins in it and stuff, that's fine, I guess. But um, just to have, like, what's the point in customizing your skins and doing all this shit just for a quick arena a Slayer match? I don't know. The missions change. They always do. 
They created a story-based multiplayer no one asked for. That's Commander Laurette. She's in charge like, of the Spartan. You guys know, like, part of the, the whole Fortnite lobby before the match starts where everyone's standing around getting ready? I'm not, like, a huge Fortnite player. But you know what's great about that? You know what, what that kind of created? It creates your show-off moment. It's a moment where the, everyone who's about to jump into the arena, you know, jump into the, the Battle Royale, uh, gets to see what everyone else has. It's a show off your skin moment, show off your animations, have a good time. Everyone's looking around. It's really cool. And then you play the Battle Royale, and the, usually the match lasts pretty long. The, the same doesn't apply to getting skins and everything when you're talking about a Slayer match where the opening cutscene just shows, in, in, most of the time it glitches out, by the way, but shows, you know, the five people on the team, you play a uh, five-minute match and it's over. What was the point of customizing your tune at that point? There's nothing. You don't get to show it off. You don't get to really do much. You're flying around half the time. You don't even know what people fucking look like because they're outlined in a blue or red color, right? Because they're playing on a certain team, so your customizations go out the window. All that stuff goes into, why the hell would I ever buy a skin in this game? It doesn't make any sense, but... They tried to mishmash everything together. Didn't work. Academy, which is the kind of contextual wrapper that the whole multiplayer universe lives Didn't in. Work. Which caused them to take forever to add maps, modes, and all of that because it had to go into the narrative that, again, nobody asked for. He's fun. I like him. They got rid of the ground pounds, the shoulder Fucking charges, Cortana looks the ugly too. and the boosts, sort of. Although they kept clambering, sprint, and sliding. And despite the game having more development time than any Halo in existence, it would launch once more without all the features prior Halo games had. Jeez. 343 has never had a consistent vision for what their Halo I'm, I'm, is. I'm, I, you know what? I was kind of excited about Microsoft buying World of, uh, you know, buying Blizzard and, and Activision and everything, but now I'm kind of scared because I forgot they fumbled the ball so hard with Halo, but as long as 343 doesn't touch World of Warcraft, we'll be okay. So we will always have split screen in going forward. And that's a huge problem. We have had to make the difficult decision not to ship campaign split screen co-op. They simply don't know what Halo is. Your inability to safeguard Halo was a colossal failure. They're just guessing every single time, hoping to strike gold. We are a very competitive game. That's our DNA, that's who we are. Mm -hmm. Right? You go back all the way to the very first Halo, right? Multiplayer. What, I mean, it's, what was competitive? There was no rank system, though. There was nothing really like, yes, there's the competitiveness of the fact that it was just an FPS. But mostly what I remember about enjoying about Halo was just the mayhem that ensued. You had a Slayer match. Yeah, you know, you're having fun. Big Team Battle was just like, fuck it all. Just go nuts. Try to see what if you get a cool kill shot you know, with your glider flying around or, or see if you can ghost boost somebody and slap them from behind. But there was nothing ever really, like, hyper-competitive about it. If you wanted to be hyper-competitive back then, you'd go play, like, Counter-Strike or something. Not Halo. It is a highly competitive game. I can't tell you how... They had, they had tournaments, yeah. People like Ninja. You know, they started on Halo tournaments and stuff. But to call it a hyper-competitive game? I don't understand what he's talking about. How insane that is. But yet, here we are. Yeah, custom matches. Like I said, zombies. Vision. I played countless hours of zombies where, you know, the zombie had the sword and the humans had the shotgun. We'd box ourselves into that, man, what was that map called with the rooms and it had boxes in it and you could like barricade yourself inside. Those are the things I used to do on Halo. I never really gave a shit about being competitive. And people have different opinions about what direction it should go in. The vision has never been clear, but what is clear is this problem stems from the very top. Changing Halo 20 years of box product models to a free-to-play model is not something that is going to be inherently satisfying for most of our players. You simply can't make a great pizza for your boy or your customers if your boss threatens you to make a hamburger hot dog at the same time. And that's the thing that creates the, the creative tension. It's literally insane. I don't even know what that would look like, let alone work on. There's only so much that we're gonna be able to action on now, um, yeah. but that's the beauty of being a live service. But look, credit where credit is due. With every mm. release, 343 did consistently focus on one thing. Dead game shot. What, esports? Here lies 343's next problem. They've changed Halo to be a competitive first game with a perfected sandbox, sweaty multiplayer, and what's worse, oh, yeah. they don't even understand what competitive is. Look, just let me show you. I've only played maybe 
two matches. One was bot match, one was a quick play. Now I did my first rank. Look at what the game puts me up against. Onyx, Onyx, Onyx. My first ranked on a brand new account. Three, four, three. What would make you get, think get wrecked, that makes bitch. sense? What a horrible experience for newcomers who want to play the game. Don't get me wrong. Competitive is an amazing part of the community. Of course. Like I said, there's a lot of big streamers that started in competitive in fact, Halo. My family has a long history Ninja's one of competitive them. Halo. We went to MLG Toronto, MLG Meadowlands, and even went to a private exhibition match at Red Bull Los Angeles office. Which, yeah. It's as awesome as it sounds. I did get hustled into buying a $20 rap album from some guy named Encore, but they did have amazing <laughs> blueberry lemon pancakes that I still think about to this day. LA's a weird place. Ninja Anything was from Halo, yeah. competitive so long as passion exists. He was. Eating can be competitive. Both are struggling to keep he used to play competitive Halo. And, even and he was good at it. Like solving Rubik's Cubes as fast as humanly possible. Yes! <laughs> but let's be real, though. A healthy competitive game is not 343's goal, because what they really want is to monetize a passion yeah. fan base. Yeah. Uh, you can monetize, there's nothing wrong there's with it. One problem I get it, you gotta make money, right? These games are expensive to make, but like I said, you don't monetize a game, uh, and then it, there's no reason for the customizations. It just all goes away the second the match starts. What the hell is the point? So you can look at it on the starting screen? this plan to make money in a competitive scene 343 needs you all of you anyone with an interest in the game that has a pulse should be invited and that has never happened with any of 343's halo games curious as to why well let's roll the clips here's halo 5 how much different the series would have been so uh you know already a cap going over to envy and you know oh no scope halo 3 Yep. Much slower. Yeah, that was okay, fucking okay, that was shit it. right okay. there. How about a different game? Let's do a different game. Let's be fair. Here's He's Halo Infinite. Uh, now. Had to get sweaty. This was a one versus four. The play of Pasha's life. It's planted so open. Henny's gonna have no idea. Smoke goes on to it. He's not peeking it yet. Passion needs patience, and he spotted. He knows he's not on it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Let's See, let's a game, game doesn't have to be sweaty and fast and fucking hyperventilating and uh, hyperventilating inducing. I don't even know what I'm saying. To be fun to watch, I had I just right now with my own eyes had more fun watching the slow gameplay, which I was easy to view and understand, rather than the hyper twitch, uh, no scope, 360 shit out your ass and block somebody's face off. Uh, uh, gameplay that we just saw of Halo 5. Compare games. Let's compare it to a completely different sport. Okay, okay, I get you. Let's, another one. Here's Halo Infinite. Look at this shit. How do you even know what's going on? Now here's chess. <coughs> big move, big move. Do you see the problem? Boosts, slides, yeah. repulsor bounces to the moon. The it gets, learning it gets curve to what's man. happening, and more importantly, what's possible, has skyrocketed. You see look at uh, look at Fortnite. No build has become so popular. Why? Because the game just became too sweaty. It became too sweaty, too complicated. You can't understand what the fuck's going on half the time when you're watching somebody play, and then when you play yourself, you get wrecked by a 12-year-old who's got fast-ass twitch muscles and... Uh, and has been playing the game nonstop, eating Cheerios from his daddy's uh, closet the entire day. You know, there's nothing you could do to beat that. No build has brought the 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 OGs back. No build is fun to watch, fun to play. Uh, there's actually some you know skill besides fast twitch and sanity involved. It's fun. See, complicated doesn't mean fun. It's based off American Gladiator Power Ranger Edition. It's based off tension. And tension is created through audiences' awareness of how a player or a team perseveres through a problem that creates pressure. The more pressure, See, that's the badass. greater the tension. But to have tension, viewers like you and me need to have the context 
And the quicker that we can understand the context, yeah. the easier the viewing experience is. Meanwhile- Honestly, it even applies to WoW. There's a reason why hardcore WoW is more fun for a lot of people than retail. It's because it's less complicated. It's very simple. It's, un it's easy to understand. You know what's going on. You know, you know what's gonna happen. What what will cause you to lose? What will cause you to win? It's it's pretty straightforward. All of this insanity and, and ability bloat and all the shit that's going on. A lot of these games just wrecks it. Honestly, it makes it hard to play and hard to hard to watch. Sports for Halo is like here's a billion team names that just sound cringe to say out loud with a bunch of player names that also sound cringe. This is the last time you've seen a tweet from Sundance saying. There's Ninja. Cool. There's Ninja. I told you, he's a he's an OG or Halo player. Never, because the game is dead, and that's what I'm saying. Where everyone is boosting at the speed of Power Rangers. One shot, thrusted behind a wall. Then another guy came out, made him one shot, thrusted back behind the wall. Turned around, made another guy one shot, thrusted back behind the wall. Yeah, so, I hate the spammy run hmm, style. That's three a lot kills of these games. I would have had in any other fucking Halo game. But I don't feel tension because anything could happen at any second, and who knows what's gonna happen. So why do I care? It's the reason that Overwatch is unwatchable. God. Yeah. What is more satisfying oh. than that? <laughs> no, they have no idea what the fuck's going on in Overwatch half the time. You serious? Valorant hasn't superseded Counter-Strike, the game it literally copied from. 90, um... You simply can't expect someone outside the competitive scene to root for a game they simply can't understand within yeah. seconds of watching it. True. Thankfully, I can prove it. Let's look There's at a power in simplicity. mode known as the classic Halo League. It was the same game, just a different style. Now it's time to pull this yeah, This is good. See, I know what's going on here. To come in perfect shot. See, back then, Bungie didn't have to create the competitive settings. The community actually did it for them. That's specifically true. MLG and the scene flourished because of it. Whereas 343 is the arbiter of everything with total control. And this brings us to 343 Industries' biggest problem and one of the major reasons their games continue to dwindle in popularity. The things that we're gonna try and do is have a much more open dialogue with the community. 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 Schools. Communities. Community. Community. Their relationship Yay. to the community is abysmal and there's no clearer example in this video. I'm not sure a grab hammer is going to do much against them. How is your own? Better. What you just saw was not made by 343. It wasn't made by a million dollar VFX company. And it wasn't even made by a Tell team. Me it was made by it was an made individual by player. One guy, this guy. Halo VFX. Damn. And he loves Halo. And after working Damn. full days at ILM, yes, the ILM that makes incredible VFX for these iconic movies I'm about to show right here. He puts in all his free time into creating a beautiful CG Halo experience for the fans. Where are we? And he does it completely free. But he's not the only That's one. That's badass. See, I gotta watch some of those. Some fans break down Halo lore. Unfortunately for the ancient human and prophet races, these infections first show yeah, I've up watched on a lot of their these worlds. Some build incredible maps and modes. Oh my god, he updated Some the old Infinite Reef, Infinite Forge. The competitive scene. If you don't hold crouch, this jump is either very difficult or completely impossible. Heck, even I've thrown my hat into the ring. All the of us do it because at the end man. of the day, we're passionate about Halo. We want it to succeed and we want to help. But sadly, there's zero communication, literally none. Halo is a game that's grown because of the marriage of gameplay and community. <laughs> oh, Yet with every release of a new Halo, we lose more and more. Yeah, of I don't know anyone who's playing Infinite right now. Definitively Halo. You ever wonder if I were here? Just want a light screen mystery. Oh my god. Proximity chat Red was added in Halo 2, giving players the ability to This talk is the map. All players in the game. That was the map. Wasn't that the zombie map? Dude, this is what they're playing. They're playing zombie. Look at all the dead zombies and swords on the ground. These guys are playing zombies. I'm telling you, man, this this was a player-created game mode that was unbelievable. And you literally played on the honor system. Like, this was completely, you'd make it in matchmaking, and people would just convert to the green side when they died. Like, you switch red team to green team, red team to, and people would just do it on their own. Man, kids these days don't understand. In the game, depending on their location. People think that I found, like, a girl now? Now it's gone. Pre and post game lobbies are a place players can show off their ranks and get to yeah. know each other before yeah. and after the game. This, this right here, 
you, like what I just talked about with Fortnite, the pre-Battle Royale match starting where you stand around and you wait for the bus to take off, that's what this was. This was the moment where you showed off your rank, you showed off your cool little logo that you made, and you talked some shit. This is what I'm talking about. This, is what, this, this made it fun. This made it fun. This, is, this gave you reasons to try to rank up, to try to, you know, make the coolest looking logo, set your background color the same as something else so you could take one logo and make it look like a completely different logo that wasn't supposed to be in the game. Maybe, maybe you know, go with something phallic. But this was, this was the OG pre-bus takeoff moment. All of a good run. Now it's gone. Rolling yeah. lobbies allowed us to queue up with people we just played with to keep the fun going. My friend yeah. messaged me, he was like, dude, it's like 5 a.m. where you are, go to sleep, and I just replied with Halo 3. And now That's it's right. gone. That's 343 right. Industries has consistently focused on reinventing the wheel of Halo. Maybe I don't want Bungie to take it back. Release, only Maybe, to walk it but back I definitely don't want 343 to have it. Call of Duty gameplay. That didn't come from the community. I fucking hated game. loadouts. When they added loadouts, honestly, I hated that shit. For lock. That didn't come from the community, and that failed. Removing big team battle, same thing. Story-based multiplayer, same thing. Removing split screen, same thing. How, how could you remove split screen? Live service game. Who asked Dumb for idea. Showcasing a horrible art style in the first next-gen gameplay demo for Microsoft's most respected franchise and new console. Heck, with that one, they even caught the execs off guard. I swear, that, that, that was a bad day for everyone all around. Every step of the way, this company completely ignores their community uh, and what made this series popular instead of embracing the community and working It wasn't together. bad, it just wasn't because finished. Of this, Microsoft was forced to intervene. Damn. After Infinite's three, four, three got wrecked. performance, the team's been completely gutted. The player population, according to the data that we have, shows the population doesn't care for the seasonal content. It's yeah. dropping the bucket. We have a TV show that's nothing like the games. And most shockingly, despite being the marquee... I did not watch the TV series. Uh, somebody told me that Master Chief was like not the main character or something, and I was like, no, I'm not fucking watching this. I'm not watching this. That's not Halo. I'm not going to watch this shit. I'm not going to support it. I'm not going to be part of it. Franchise of the Xbox. It wasn't even mentioned in Microsoft's biggest gaming event of the year. These are the works of the very greatest creative teams from around the world. <laughs> to, to put it in perspective, <laughs> Fallout 76 and Elder Scrolls Online got more love than the company's most influential franchise that helped build the console to what it is today. And Microsoft's not messing Halo around carried because Xbox. all year and First still Xbox to this day, they've had a hiring freeze on 343. I mean, look, you can just go to the career page right now and see it's blocked. And it's been like that for Damn. a while. I love Halo and I'm always going to love Halo. It defined my childhood and I feel pretty confident it probably defined you. And he well. always takes off but his mask. Yeah. Truth, he fucks in it? Are you serious? He fucks in the series? And he takes off his helmet? My god, I'm glad I didn't watch that shit. Truth is, Halo needs a vision. It needs gameplay both competitive and uncompetitive <laughs> folks can enjoy. And most importantly, it needs to work with the community. Without these, Halo will die slowly as nothing but a memory. Sad. Except there is one thing. He fucks 343 me. Industries is filled with talented people. Artists, engineers, designers, and a lot more. These are people who go to work every single day and want to create the best Halo they can. And in fairness, they just need some direction, had I think. some wins for the franchise. She said that to me once. About being a machine. But the horrible decisions everyone hates do not come from those who put their blood, sweat, and tears into yeah, the game. It's a, it's they come decisions. from management, yep. so-called leaders who create empty promises and lack the confidence to stick to a single, consistent vision. The only way to take back Halo is to have full transparency with the community G4. and work together. Uh -huh. Because we want you to succeed. Because we want you to be recognized for your ideas because we want you to be paid 
for all of your hard work. Whether you're an artist making sure we have the most detailed and accurate Spartan armor that ever existed. Whether you're a professional Halo player fighting for a livable salary or whether you're a Forge map creator spending days meticulously Man, these sure are great, these remakes. Perfect to play on. We want each and every one of you to succeed and we want Halo to win. So invite us in, be transparent, let us help. Yes, I remember this shit, man. It's Halo 2. I grew up on Halo. I love Halo. I'm a Halo fan. I love Halo. First copy of Halo 3 to a man who has been in line. Halo is one of my favorite game franchises of all time. I love Halo. I love everything about it. I love it. I love Halo. Dual wielding, baby. I love Halo. I grew up on Halo. It's built into my soul. The memory, the sandbox, the story, and the campaign. A lot of who I am, uh, what I like. I feel so many. What I love. And so many of us, our first interaction with online gameplay was Halo. What I love to do grows from Halo. Those lobbies. Million units in 24 The only reason that we set up a red base here is because they have a blue base over there. I don't think I talk about it enough, but I adore Halo. It comes from Halo. And the only reason they have a blue base over there is because we have a red base here. Do you think we'll ever meet them? I hope so. Don't you? This is a badass cinematic. Spartans never die. They're just missing in action. Damn. Holy I'd like to see how shit. we got to this point in Halo's tragic history. You're definitely going to want to click this video right here to stay informed. Keep it cute. Oh, what a, what a, what a nostalgic-driven video, man. What a great video. Uh, yeah, Halo was it for me. Halo was my first interaction with online gameplay. It was the first time I played an online game. Uh, countless memories made. If they ever get Halo right, I'm sure a lot of us... Uh, well, millennials will go back and play it again. Red vs. Blue is another great thing that came out of it. Yes, no doubt. It was Red vs. Blue were some of my first, like, like the first series I ever really got into on YouTube was Red vs. Blue. Yeah, at least Cortana lives in, in Windows. Yeah, yeah, true. <laughs>